The Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Oluwa Tony Ogundipe, on Wednesday after the University Senate meeting became the first casualty of the crisis between him and the Governing Council of the institution following the termination of his appointment. Plus TV Africa correspondent Jacinta Obyoku reports. The sacking of the Vice Chancellor was reportedly announced at a meeting of the Governing Council of UNILAC held at the National University's Commission in Abuja. The sack is said to be based on investigation of serious acts of wrongdoing, gross misconduct, financial recklessness and abuse of office. On the quest to confirm the report at University of Lagos, Plus TV Africa ran into the University Congress Union comprising of ASU, NASU, NAT and SANU denouncing the situation. Comrades, the first unions on this campus met at a meeting at our secretariat at 10 a.m. And we unanimously agreed that the purported removal of the vice chancellor is illegal, is lawless, is reckless, is draconian, is ultraviolet, is unacceptable, is unwarranted. We reject in its entirety this present attempt to flagrantly violate the extant regulation, extant laws that establish this university. Professor Ogundikbe, arriving the scene, expresses gratitude as he pledges more commitment as he remains the vice chancellor of the university. I want to thank you very much. I am proud. I pray that the Almighty God will be with every one of us. Please let us maintain peace. Like I've told you, I see it as a point of moving me upward. I see it as a challenge. That will throw you to a higher level. Yeah. Reports also have it that the registrar of the institution and secretary to the University Governing Council, Oladejo Aziz, at early hour on Thursday announced the appointment of Professor Theophilos Soyombo as the acting vice chancellor of the University of Lagos. It appears the last is yet to be seen on this leadership tussle, and Plus TV Africa will keep you updated. Jacinta Obiuku, Plus TV Africa. And joining us live to discuss this is Daily Ashiru Asu President, Unilag Chapter. Thank you for joining us, uh, Dr. Ashiru. Yeah, thank you very much for this invitation. Now we can see the different unions are aligning with the embattled vice chancellor, and that's including ASU, which you had. What impact would this uh, have uh, this vote of confidence have on the alleged sack? Yeah, thank you very much. The impact it will have is that it will send the right signal to the appointing authorities. In this case. The, the visitor to the university, President Muhammad Buhari, through the Honorable Minister of Education. The point that was underscored by that united uh, vote of confidence in the Vice Chancellor of our university is premised upon the fact that we, the unions are not saying that whoever is found guilty of any allegation cannot be disciplined, cannot be. Uh, cannot be so disciplined in accordance with the laws of the land and that establishing universities. Our contention, our argument is that this removal smacks of a jungle justice because the provisions for the removal of a vice chancellor is clearly stipulated in the laws establishing the university, which includes the fact that after cases that might have been raised against him, he must be written, after which a joint committee of council and senate be set up, give him an opportunity to defend himself, after which council will take the report and if found guilty, the appropriate uh, sanctions will be meted out to him. That provision also provides that to appoint somebody as an acting vice chancellor, recommendation must come from Senate. As I speak with you, 
the Senate of the University of Lagos is yet to receive any communication from either the pro-chancellor or the council of the university informing the community of the removal of the vice chancellor, nor asking for recommendation as to who to take over from him in acting capacity. What we are currently witnessing in Unilag is a sheer case of lawlessness. And it is that that our union and other unions are, are against. So do you see this crisis heading for, for the courts for resolution? Or do you think it can be resolved internally within the school? The law, the law empowers the visitor to intervene. The president of the country, through the honorable minister, is empowered by law to intervene in such matters and do justice in the interest of the rule of law. Indeed, the law itself provides that even a removed vice chancellor, a legally removed vice chancellor, still has a right of appeal to the visitor. All of these processes have not been have not been done. So I think that it behoves on the Honorable Minister of Education through, with the approval of the visitor to the university to intervene in this matter and stop this illegality immediately. Hmm. So how about uh, the registrar? He's one of the people that announced the removal of the, uh, the sitting VC. Has the register been seen on campus? No, the, we have not seen the registrar on campus. The law also empowers the registrar to be secretary to council, secretary to senate, secretary to congregation. So uh, we, we, are, we have not received any, any formal communication from any relevant organs of council informing the community of this decision. Mm -hmm. How about the newly appointed Vice Chancellor, Professor Shoyombo? Has he been seen on campus and uh, has he taken up the position yet? There is no newly appointed Vice Chancellor in Uniland. Because there is no legality, illegality cannot, cannot, cannot uh, be based. We cannot accept an illegal process because the vice chancellor of our university is the chairman of Senate. And Senate had spoken and clearly so yesterday that we cannot accept an imposition. And I have just told you that the law says that whoever will become acting vice chancellor must be recommended by Senate. And this Senate is saying that we have not received any communication for the removal of the vice chancellor. So there's no Te technically and legally speaking, the vice chancellor that we have in Unilag today is Professor Tony Ogundipe. Well, Any asking, other individual Shoyongo is right unknown now. to the status of the university. But has he has he arrived campus? Has he arrived campus anyway? I wouldn't know. I don't live in. I don't live with him. I don't. I've not seen him on campus. I don't know where whether he had arrived campus and is hiding or is uh, somewhere. I don't know. I don't know his whereabouts. Hmm. How about the embattled VC, Professor Ogundipe? Has he returned to campus amidst uh, what seems like a popular support for him? Yeah, you saw what happened when, coincidentally, he arrived from Abuja to a Congress that we were holding. And you can see the rousing reception. You can see how he was welcomed. What we are saying is that, yes, anybody could be alleged to have uh, committed infractions financial recklessness, uh, misconduct, and all whatnot that they are talking about. But the question to ask is, has, has he been tried in accordance with the law? Has he been found guilty? Has hmm. he, as this been communicated to the relevant organs of the university? The answer to all of these questions is in the negative. Okay, just uh, before I let you go, I'd like to ask you, what do you see uh, this whole circumstance turning uh, into at the end of the day? Do you see uh, Professor Shoyombo eventually taking up the mantle as uh, the governing council has uh, passed it on to him? Or do you see uh, Professor Ogundipe uh, coming back to head the school? No, battle of, uh, no mantle of leadership has been passed to anybody. Uh, we, we all, every 
uh, all of us, the university community, Unilag stakeholders, are looking up to the visitor to the university, President Muhammad Bubuari, through the Honorable Minister of Education, to make a pronouncement on this matter. What Dr. Babalaki has done is a coup against the University of Lagos. It is a travesty of justice. It is a violation of the extant regulations of the university. It is an assault on the rule of law. And I think that all well-meaning Nigerians should stand up in unison against this naked use of power. Otherwise, uh, our, our society will fast be eroding into a, a jungle where might is right and where the fittest survives. Therefore, the University of Lagos community is calling on the Honorable Minister of Education to please get approval from the visitor to the university, President Muhammad Bari, to intervene in this matter with a view to stopping this illegality and returning the university back to status quo ante before this needless and unwarranted crisis. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Delia Shiri, for coming on the program today. Thank you very much for this invitation. It is my pleasure. Okay.